Hey, what's up everyone? So, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. Uh, literally, well, I've done it on Twitter, but not as a video. This is my first ever question and answer, guys. So, I asked you all to submit questions on Twitter with the hashtag AskJames, and you did. And these are just a few of them. So, the first question uh, comes from the user Nicole Sawyer 3 and you asked, am I ever going to get any new tattoos? Now, if you know this story, you'll know the answer to this. I'm not going to get any more tattoos. Uh, I promised my parents one thing before moving out to LA and that was I wasn't going to get any tats and I did. I broke that promise. I'm sorry. I love you both so much, mum and dad, but I'll keep that promise to you from now on. I'm not going to get any other tattoos just in case it ends up like this one. The next question comes from the user, Brooke Savan, and you asked, did you enjoy being a DJ at January Fest? Uh, being a DJ set at Jano Fest just in general was so crazy. Like walking up the ramp at the start to see like a big empty black room. And then as soon as I went on the mic, I was like, London, are you ready? Just like seeing all those white lights come out. Like it was like, I just talking about it now is making me so happy and so excited again. It was crazy. Jack and Jack came out, Fady came out. There was like a whole crew of dancers. It was like, Honestly insane. I can't wait to watch over like all the footage from that night. It's amazing. Sabina asked If you were to write a memoir about yourself, what would the title be? Now, I'm definitely not writing any memoirs about my life because like let's just be honest But seriously if I did I would have no clue what the title would be. My life's been plot twist after plot twist after plot twist Actually, it might be what the hell's going on So if you ever walk into a bookstore and you see a book by the title what the hell's going on You better purchase it because most likely my memoir now this next question is asked by Jay Harder and you asked Do you like it when a girl spits or swallows now? <laughs> I'm assuming you're talking about when a girl's eating food um, If you're eating and you're about to choke you probably should spit it out just in case because you wouldn't want to swallow and then like something gets stuck in your throat and you choke and die. Yeah, I definitely say spit. Now, the next question is by a male fan. Uh, Dr. Mark. Dr. Mark asks, Who the fuck are you? Um, hey, Dr. Mark, I am James from Australia and currently have sinus problems. So, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's hurting my throat too at the same time. Could you please help me, Dr. Now this question was really common and a lot of people asked it, but one user that did is at Yamuni's Blunt. At Yamuni's Blunt asked, something you can't live without. Now, one thing that I can't live without and I've always known that I can't live without is family, but coming out to the States and like being here, basically living here for the last two years has made me realize that you really can't live without your family. If it's like one person that's going to be there for you no matter what forever in your life, it's your family. and. If you're right now with your parents or with your brothers or with your sisters, just give them a hug or do something nice to do, you know, because you kind of like forget to do things like that when you are at home or when you are around your family nonstop and you should really show them that you appreciate them because one day you have everyone in your family and then the next day something could happen. So yeah, make sure that if you're with your mom or with your dad or with any of your brothers and sisters, just give them a big hug and just do something stupid. They'll probably think you're weird or they'll probably think, if it's your parents, they'll probably think you want money or something, but it goes a long way. Just make sure you tell them how much you love them. Steph at Luke Brooks Eyes asked, you work so hard on your body and you did lose a lot of weight. Can you give us some tips? Well, with me, when I was going through the process of losing weight, I'd be Googling, um, asking like how to lose weight and all that stuff and everyone would say the same thing. You have to eat a lot of small healthy meals, you have to sleep, you have to work out, you have to do this, you have to do this, you have to do that. Whereas with me, like, I realized that there is no fast solution of losing weight. It's something that is going to happen over time. Life is life and with me, my mindset, like I realized it was 90% your mindset and 10% like working out and all that stuff. Like if you keep your mindset positive, you're going to end up eating healthy. You're going to end up doing all those right stuff. And with me, like I haven't honestly stepped a foot into the gym in the last year. And that's something that I'm going to need to do now like because I want to gain muscle and stuff. But with me, it was all like I just wanted to lose weight and I kept that positive mindset for a while. And over time, it just it just happened and this is gonna like I'm gonna have to do this into another video because a lot of you have been asking me questions about this. So I'm sorry if I didn't quite answer your question, but um, yeah, just remember you have to stay positive uh, with me. I just I never understood how people like you eat small But you eat like seven eight meals, but still lose weight I never understood that because I was only eating like two meals a day So I didn't get it. I was like if I eat more I'm just gonna gain more but you end up like if you end up eating seven or eight meals a day 
you physically can't eat the big meals that you would be usually eating. So you end up lose like you actually end up losing weight because your stomach keeps working and that helps you lose calories somehow. I don't know, but if you eat more, you lose more. And now I'm sweating, so I'm probably losing weight as I talk too. The next question is, what is the most stupid thing about being famous? Um, well, honestly, the most stupid thing, like the most stupid, stupid thing about being famous is um, when people, people start treating you differently. Like, it's weird. Like some people, like your friends turn on you, you know, people start treating you better. Like, it's weird. It, everything works opposite. Like, the people that wouldn't usually be treating you nice will start treating you super nice. And then the people that, like, love you and have had your back for ages, that, like, being your mates for ages, like, you thought were your mates, will just turn. And it's like, why? What the hell? Like, it's all because of an illusion. And it's hard to explain. You probably think I'm crazy or something, but it's, it's just weird. Like, everything, like, flipped. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, it's being treated different, I guess. So the next question comes from probably my favorite fan account. Like, honestly, I see this person on Twitter nonstop, left, right, and center. <laughs> I love them so much. Um, anyway, let's not forget, everyone make sure you follow her at Jasmine Jam Yam, and that is J-A-S-M-I-N-E-J-A-M-Y-A-M-M. -A -M -A -M -M. Make sure you follow her on Twitter. Jasmine, I love you. Anyway, what did the cutie say? Let me just pull it up. So cute. How do you deal with people putting you down? Now, if someone's putting you down, honestly, if I were you, I wouldn't even care about it. Like the way I go about it is the people that are putting me down are most likely not going to be in my life for me like in a year or two from now. So why should I care about them anyway? Like I went through a phase where heaps of people were bullying me and at the start it did get to me and to the point where I realized like, wait, half of the people that were bagging me like a few years ago, I don't even talk to. I don't know anyone that talks to them anyway. Like. It's weird how that works. Like they just end up just isolating themselves from your life anyway. So you shouldn't really care about them. Like obviously you're going to end up caring because no one wants to hear someone put them down, but you should care, but just don't let it affect you. You know what I mean? Just, you know, block them out of your life. If they're going to be like that, you shouldn't have people in your life. If they're going to be putting you down, just have positive people. At Ration Balbo asked, what's your favorite video from all your videos? Now, you do realize we have the Janoskins YouTube channel, Janoskins blog, Janoskins Vivo, Twin Talk Time, and my new channel, which you probably don't know about, DJ James and Mooney, which the link is right there, and now it's uh, right there. So, out of all those, I'll... I have absolutely no clue, to be honest with you. Probably awkward trade situations, because that was a sick video, plus it was like our first big video, and maybe awkward elevator situations, because I actually snuck out of the house to do that, so... That's just sick memories. So, yeah, maybe them too. Jeno, I love you so much, asked, what do you do in your free time in LA because you seem to be bored considering you're doing this Q&A? Uh, uh, I guess you're right. At Judging Luke asked, how did you create Jasmine, your alter ego? What are you talking about? I, what are you talking about? At Yamuni with an X for an A and two eyes at the end asked, what good advice would you give someone going through a tough time? Now, people said it in his last song. If you're going through a tough time, believe him. He's been there and he's done that. But every single day above ground is a great day. Remember that. Now, those lyrics actually have a meaning to them. We're alive. We're breathing. Everything's great. So if you're going through a tough time, just remember that everything does happen for a reason and eventually that tough time that you're going through at the moment will fade out like look back on your life and think about like all the little things that you thought were like a massive deal like now mean absolutely nothing to you like all those big deals back then mean nothing now so the tough time that you're going through right now is going to mean nothing in 10 to 20 years as i said before so just don't like whatever you do just don't take it out on yourself and don't like feel bad for yourself at the same time. If you are going through a tough time, just keep your head up and remember that life's amazing. And if you're going through a tough time right now, you won't be in a week's down the track. So don't like, don't do anything stupid. Hug your moody said, I'm hungry AF, but I'm too lazy to get up. So what should I do? Um, Ma! The meatloaf! Thank you so much for watching my first ever question and answer. I hope you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure you subscribe to all the channels in the description below. Love you.